The Great Barrier Reef is considered the largest and most diverse ecosystem in the world, encompassing 2,900 individual reefs, expanding over a 2,300 kilometer stretch. What a wonderful world we live in! Over 2 million tourists come to see this natural wonder each year. That's a lot of people. Common activities in the area include scuba diving, snorkeling, and whale watching. While these are very fun activities, they can also bring harm to the reefs and their inhabitants. On a more positive note, commercial tourism helps the economy flourish, not just in the state of Queensland, but also to the entire country of Australia. The total contribution of all tourist activities at the Great Barrier Reef to Australia's economy is $5.7 billion each year. Overall, the Great Barrier Reef remains a bucket list vacation for millions of international and domestic visitors annually. Sadly, the reef is not. All right, all right, all right. Unfortunately, it's not all fun and games. We really do have to be careful around these vulnerable organisms. When a coral is touched, accidentally or intentionally due to curiosity, this can cause an entire coral reef colony to die off. The oils from our skin can disturb the delicate mucous membranes, which protect the reef from diseases. Diseases are 15 times more prevalent at reefs that have tourism platforms than at those that don't. This is caused by seabirds that these permanent reefs attract. The bird's fecal matter contains nitrogen and phosphorus, which causes these diseases, making it difficult for the coral to regrow and harming the reef. The Great Barrier Reef needs a solution that sustains tourism levels while at the same time attempting to repair and maintain the reef. It only costs $6.5 to enter the park, which goes to the maintenance of the reef. That is very cheap compared with other national park fees around the world. In addition, Eye on the Reef is a program that includes the interest of tourists on the reef conservation. Every visitor could take part and share the experience and observation with the public. Overall, the collected data helps the reef authorities to monitor the changes at the reef. Animal lovers and kids across the world dream of having the chance to visit the Great Barrier Reef one day. Unfortunately, if things keep going the way they are, future generations will not have the opportunity to visit one of the greatest wonders of the world. It is up to us to keep that dream alive. If you are lucky enough to visit the reef, be mindful of yourself and the effect you can have when visiting this amazing underwater world. And do your part in fighting climate change and keeping the world's oceans and reefs healthy. Because after all, it's the only world we've got.